this is a multimeter and those are the probes on the multimeter oh. uh, hello everybody I bet you remember that uh, video it's one of the most populous I didn't really get a shock um, I just broke it the, uh, because uh, it's a broke anyway and it just seemed like a good thing to go out dramatically but anyway since then uh, a very kind chap called Mr Dick Puller he's a very nice man he's a very very nice man he's the head of uh, Puller International one of the largest plumbing firms in Scotland and he sent me a brand new top of the range multimeter to demonstrate to you how to, how to use them, the use of a multimeter and how to use them which I am going to do uh, but before I do I just want to show you another thing that I set up once and I didn't I didn't um, put it on because I thought it, it anyway I'm putting it on now and what this is it's a thermocouple and I've connected this thermocouple by means of a solenoid to uh, a millivolt tester to so just to demonstrate what a, um, a thermocouple does now a thermocouple it lies in the pilot light the pilot light the pilot light dances on the probe and this generates a small amount of electricity which is about 18 to 20 millivolts going on this side which is in the gas valve and it holds um, it holds together an electromagnet holds together on a plate that opens the gas valve and um, when there's no electricity there to shut it down so it's a safety valve now I'm not encouraging anybody to go and undo the boiler and play about with parts that's, that, that they shouldn't do if you're not a gas registered then don't do it it's just interesting to know how things work so we'll um, just simulate a, uh, a pilot light here when the pilot light's lit see that little that little needle there now it should go up to about oh, it should go up to about 18 to 20 millivolts which it is doing it's up at 18 now going to 19 we've got up to on, well no it's 19 well that's about all you'll get really and once we let that go it'll fall down now once it falls down to 10 which it is doing now you'll hear a clunk in your gas valve and that's because this electromagnet can't hold it open anymore because it hasn't got the right amount of voltage you know, it goes clunk and then the gas valve then is shut okay so that's just something I was going to show you and I didn't and I've changed my mind and I've shown you right on to the multimeter and this is a multimeter sent to me by a kind act of Mr Dick Fuller and it's um, it's called a multimeter because it does multiple things so it'll measure voltage it'll measure voltage to measure AC voltage and it'll measure direct current mode voltage now the difference is um, AC voltage is what you'll find at all right we've got some AC voltage here and if I put this bulb in that shows you that's live right so that's this is AC voltage and it's 200 and depending on where you live depending on your region anywhere in England is 235 to 250 and we have here 246, 247 volts, which is about what you'd have in England. Now that I've, I've got that on the 600 setting. If I put it down to the 200 setting, what it reads then is 1. Because that's telling you it's got one measure of 200. It's got the 200 and it's got 50, 47 plus, but it isn't, it isn't telling us that. Now, if we go to the direct voltage settings, and if we put that on the AC, it'll, it'll either blow the, the fuse in that circuit or it'll blow the fuse in here. So that's only meant now for small voltages. Now, to test that, here we go, we'll put it on this battery, and it's showing us that there's 6 volts in that battery, DC, direct current. And that's what that battery is, it's 6 volts. Right, so that's that's two things it's handy for. Because if you look at a boiler, there's in, in a boiler there's DC volts and there's AC volts. 
and they need to know where you're putting these probes, otherwise you can do more damage than good. That's why it's not a good idea to start undoing a wire and poking around if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, the other one we need that's quite common for us plumbers is the resistance. With the resistance, that'll tell you whether there's continuity between these things. Put them together and you get zero, which shows that there's no uh, resistance in the wire. Oh, there's little. And if you get clever with these, you can use all these settings to measure across such things as a thermistor. Because a thermistor has got resistance in it. It's got a small amount of voltage going in and a small amount of voltage going in. And if the resistance is right, it will hold the circuit in. If the resistance is wrong, the boiler will not work. So, if you get clever with these and know which ones you're going on to, you can measure the resistance on that uh, thing here, on that th thermistor. And I'm going on the wrong setting there. It's too complicated to, to give it to you in, in one sitting because each boiler has different uh, thermistors and each thermistor to each boiler um, different and, and also it's not always accurate in fact it, to, to my way of thinking see there we are we've got we've got uh, we've got 2.4 when we're on that setting which is all very complicated and the easiest thing to do is to go the 10 quid go and buy a new one and if it doesn't work then it's it's bugger right well from multimeters, so the, the handy, the handy to use, and then again they can complicate you. Like most things, I'm not going to put my arm through this one, I'm going to use this one. Um, thank you again, Mr. Vic, for that, and um, I look forward to the next film. Ta da, then. So, never trust them buggers. See you again.